Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to have a look at a focus stack we did on a workshop up at uh, Ribblesdale the other day. I'll show you the photo we're going to look at and why we uh, did a focus stack. So it's a tree and a load of walls and some limestone. And what we've got, oops, let's press cancel there. What we've got here is a, some rocks very, very close to the camera and then a very distant scene over there. And then the other picture is exactly the same so we didn't move the tripod or change a thing but all we did on this one we focused on this area here so if we zoom in we can see that's nice and sharp there and on this second photo I'll just show you the same area again so it's not so sharp that is because we focused on the background so you can see between the two is a slight shift I think when you do a a focus a change in your lens it does physically change what happens optically so how do we merge these things in to uh, one composite well the first thing you need to do obviously in Lightroom is these are the two pictures here I just edited one of them and then selected the other one like that by pressing shift and click and then sync and then did check all everything hit synchronize that means just everything that happened on this one will happen to that one. So they're identically processed. Then you export them, and I've exported them to here, this folder. So I'll copy that path. And then we pop into Photoshop. Though so some of you might think you just put the two on top of each other and use a mask, which you can do, but there's a cleverer way of doing it called um, focus stacking. Now the first thing you need to do is go to File, Scripts, Load into Stack. And then it pops up a Load Layers thing and you select your two or more. You can have 20 of these things if you want to. Uh, two or more and then click OK. And you do have the option here, Attempt to Align Source Images. So check that. So when it creates it, this thing called a stack, It'll do an aligned thing, a bit like um, HDR programs do. So it's loading one in, it's loading the second one in now. You can see just happening down here. And it uh, shifted them around a little bit. So now we have two pictures on top of each other. It's pretty hard to tell which is which, really. But um, oh, you can see, if you look at the lower one, it has shrunk the lower one a little bit to match the upper one. Or vice versa. Yeah, I think it's shrunk, it's shrunk the lower one, hasn't it? So the next thing you do is you select them both in the layers. So you click the bottom one, press Shift, and then click the top one. If you've got more than two, just use Shift and it'll select the lot. And then we go into Edit, and then Auto Blend Layers. Okay. And then it comes up with two blend methods and we've got a stack here so click on the stack radio button and keep the seamless tones and colors checked and then press OK and depending on how fast your computer is this can take a minute or two and then you see what's happened so from uh, the top shot which would be the one where we focus near it's um, it's picked out that this bit down here is really sharp and from let's switch that one off the um, distant photo where we focused on the tree itself um, it's picked out all that and put them together and you get a composite like that so if we just go shift into full screen have a little move around so if we have a look at the tree that's beautifully sharp all the detail in these walls is nice and sharp but also these rocks are really nice and sharp as well so that is how you do focus stacking in a landscape the main thing to do it's really easy in land, um, live view actually you get, you get your shot composed exactly how you want it you put your little focus square over this bit take a shot then you move your focus square maybe if you want to into the middle there take a shot and then maybe on the tree take a shot and that way you're going to get every bit of the scene nice and sharp 
So that, I suppose the last thing to do really is just to get your crop tool out to get rid of these um, white edges. So there we go. I'm just pressing the shift key as I do this to keep the aspect ratio the same. Okay. Hit enter. And you've got a nice focus stacked landscape. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.